Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back to Celebrating Act 2. Uh, welcome to our audience. Welcome to my partner, John. John Coleman. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, John, what you got for us today? What do you up to? Well, I, I was, Art, I was thinking that this weekend is uh, fa Father's Day weekend. Mm. And we are not only fathers, we're grandfathers. And I think it's really important to, you know, try to coordinate whatever you call it, spend as much time as you can with your grandchildren. And we, you, we both have adult grandchildren plus right. little grandchildren. And um, so the other day, uh, my grandson, Robert, uh, who just had a birthday, just turned 10, and brought his brand new Scrabble board oh. down to our house. And we played Scrabble. Penny and I and Robert played Scrabble on the porch. A lot of fun, great fun and great time together. You know, just sitting in the same room with a 10-year-old <laughs> for more than five minutes is, is an interesting challenge. Now, do you have to um, go back to your cliff notes to understand what a 10-year-old a uh, is Yeah, to figure in? it out. But if you have a game like Scrabble or Monopoly or whatever else you're playing, um, it, it's a great uh, unifier. So we made a date with Robert to play Scrabble every week. We're going to have a weekly Scrabble game over the summer. I thought that was a great, great plan. Now, you have uh, uh, near your property, uh, you're just up the road from uh, actually three of your uh, grand grandchildren, right. uh, three boys, right? So, uh, right. Uh, uh, so Robert is what, uh, your youngest of that, that He's group? the youngest. Uh, their oldest is uh, working in a dude ranch this summer. He's oh. gone. He's in Colorado. Wow. A dude so, ranch? What is he doing? He's working. He's really? working. He's working in the kitchen. Yeah. By the way, that not that a place where uh, 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 several people in your family go anyway? Is that how we learned about it? They do. Yeah. They, they do. love it. They love it. As, as if you couldn't stay here and ride the horses. You know what I mean? Of course not. The horses are always better in Colorado. That's right. We've got four horses here, and you could ride them any day of the week you want. Well, like you. But anyway, uh, I just thought it was a great. I thought it was a great um, activity, planning activity for uh, grandchildren. Yeah, it'll it'll be a fun summer. Yeah. So we have a, a slightly uh, a different arrangement. I like uh, the fact that you have a weekly date. Ours is more flexible because uh, uh, we we have two adult grandchildren as as you have adult grandchildren. Uh, uh, one's up in, uh, as a city planner up in Pasadena, and another one actually is, uh, he just left a week or so ago for a summer running bo uh, a Boy Scout camp. Uh, he's like one of the t uh, two or three people who run that. He's an Eagle Scout, has been involved in scouting forever. He's a senior in college. And uh, so he's got a, a summer gig as uh, being one of the <clears throat> people who run this uh, Boy Scout camp, probably about 10 weeks or so. Uh, so he's off to that. But every so often when he's in town, we'll have uh, dinner with him. Uh, he brought his girlfriend over, so we'll do that. Or we see our other granddaughter, uh, the older one, from time to time. But we have two little ones near us, like you have the three boys. We have a 10-year-old and a soon-to-be uh, eight-year-old. Uh, my wife will tell me how long I got this. But anyway, uh, uh, but uh, Madden is uh, big into baseball, and uh, his folks sometimes need some help getting the kids to camp and to, uh, and Lane is huge on gymnastics. She goes about uh, four or five days a week and wow, has been doing great. well in competitions. But every so often we get to grab them for a day, and we try to do it one at a time so they get alone time. Uh, so when we're with Lane, she helps with some uh, gardening. Uh, she likes to do that. She's really curious about doing a lot of stuff. She's an artist. She does that. Uh, she uh, so, so we try to get a one-on-one -on -one day with her where both my wife and I can do separate things with her and that yeah. she's the center of attraction. And then uh, Madden, uh, just the other day we took him because his parents have conflicting schedules and sometimes Mike has to be out of town, so we'll help out getting them to and from camp or to other things. So uh, we have some of those kind of duties spread around uh, doing that. But it's fun because we always hop in the car and uh, talk to them. Sure. Or Lane That's loves wonderful. the same Broadway 
musical. She's into Annie now. So she knows yeah. all the words of all the same songs and she's just, you know, uh, serenades us with that. So, but yeah. it's really great uh, to be able to sit down and also when we have Madden alone, he'll want to go out and have a catch or he'll, he'll bring up a sweat in me, but he likes games like Anomia, which is a, a, a card game on current events. Uh, which we did it in some of our family reunions uh, that we've had in the past. And even though he was only eight and nine at the time he learned it, he loves it. And he's good at it. And he beats us all the time because you learn, you know, you just keep playing the cards, you know. it. So we play games with them. And, you know, I did a uh, thing that we played all of us once, uh, uh, talk about games where you have Scrabble, is uh, I found on eBay a go to the head of the class. I don't really remember that when you were a kid. You can hardly get them anymore. They're very expensive. But I yeah. got a, a, a relatively good shape copy. So we did that uh, uh, the other day. So board games are still in, but uh, you know when you can tear them away from their, their device. Yeah. I wish it was as easy to um, spend time with the older grandchildren. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're much busier. They've got uh, their own schedules. Right. I have to schedule a luncheon with them. <laughs> with my grandchildren in order to see them. So, right. Um, but we love them all. We love them all. Would love to spend more time with all of them, as I'm sure you would. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, summertime, well, those lucky must be near our, uh, some of our grandkids, because I know some of yours are, they're not too far away, but they are scattered uh, a bit. You have the three real close to you, but you have another four or five that are uh, a little bit further away. And uh, it, it isn't like the old neighborhood, you know, in Brooklyn or the Bronx or, uh, where, uh, you know, Westchester, where you grew up, where the whole family was there. So you sort of just a right. 10 minute ride. You, you knock on the ceiling with a broom to talk to the great. Hey, cut it out. Right. Yeah. Oh, and Martin just got his first uh, de device that he actually he could communicate. It's actually his second one, but. He just got a, a, a like an Apple Watch, pure Dick Tracy. I get a message from him from his, and he can talk on his phone. Uh, so they don't have a yes. phone; it's not a smartphone or anything. But it, but he he's ten years old now, and he he now has a smartwatch, and uh, so we begin to text on that. So yeah, I, hopefully I we'll to, keep more I, in touch. I, I tried to tell my uh, I don't know which grandchild it was about Dick Tracy, and his two way wrist radio. <laughs> Nobody believed me. I mean, right. that it was a But it's actually, it, it is a reality now because he doesn't have a phone. Yeah. He, he does everything on oh, the they believe. So yeah. what was so unusual about Dick Tracy? What? Yeah. Who cares? You know, go ahead. Yeah. I've got an iPhone. Anyway, so anyway, summertime is, is grand, grandparenting time on steroids, if you're lucky enough like we are. And I hope you're enjoying your grandkids as much as we are ours. Amen. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.